Hello guys! As you can tell the background is completely not my bedroom, it's not my house, it's nowhere that you're familiar with because today is the day that I'm going to do the puppy yoga guys. I'm actually going to go do puppy yoga, I'm so excited. You guys know I've been waiting to do this puppy yoga since the beginning of the year and I finally broke Suad and Destiny into doing it with me. Um, I think it's going to be really interesting because I've actually never done yoga before in my life um, but I'm just here for the puppy ride obviously and luckily this week they're doing um, and golden retriever puppies which could not be literally anymore in my element so I'm really excited and um, the experience looks really good like I keep seeing like TikToks and everything on it I'm basically just waiting for the girls to come it's literally three o'clock and they're like two and three minutes out so we'll see what time they actually get here but yeah I'm actually really intrigued so the experience is like 35 pound which some people will say is a bit on the expensive side but I'm okay with it like it's me paying it and I'm okay with paying it and the dogs come from a like specialized breeder so there's no like dodginess within it from what I know about it anyway which is really important when it comes to like stuff like that because I'm not on the whole dodgy breed and stuff so it's come from like a professional breeder and um, I'll add the link down below so you guys can check it out if any of you guys are interested in it but I'm really excited I can see Sue in the distance yeah so Sue's just got here and we're gonna head in as soon as Destiny gets here so I'm like really excited I'm really excited um, I went and got a, like a whole new piece of set a gym set which I needed anyway but I got this from H&M two-piece set and then I've just got my shirt on on top which obviously I won't be doing yoga with that anyway so I thought I'd take you guys along with the ride so come with me say hi <laughs> now we're just waiting for destiny so we'll just wait for her and then we're heading That one's just knock out, he's just sleeping bare. But they're so cute. They're six weeks old. Six weeks old, I believe. But they're chunkier than what they should be. Oh, 
always talk, I'll keep it real Only till you've had your fill Then you wanna cry, it will Good morning guys, so it's actually the next day. Today after the Pepe Yoga, I continued vlogging. Um, we went to eat at um, a restaurant called Morty and Bob's and we had like burgers and chips, which I tried to show you guys. But for some reason when I was vlogging, I like popped my camera down on the table and my camera just like had a meltdown and it said something about the memory card so after that I really just did not want to touch my camera just in case like I accidentally got rid of all of the footage from the Pepe Yoga which I really didn't want to do. I was like okay let me just stop vlogging and I'll catch up with you guys in the morning because that is like not what I wanted to happen. But basically I'm gonna go to the gym and I've just realised that this is a bit messy there. I don't know how that is. That's a bit weird. But yeah I'm gonna head to the gym. Um, I've literally been going every day for like the last four days. Guys, this is what we're about. Like suddenly I remembered that I'm going to Dubai next next month. Um, so I really just need to be getting more fit. I'm gonna take you guys with me, maybe to the gym. It just depends how quiet it is because I'm not trying to vlog in the gym when like people are just around. Luckily the last few days that I've been, it's been so quiet. Like you guys have been messaging me like, girl, like that gym is so quiet, where are you at? Um, but I think it's just because it's bank holiday weekend, like it's Easter weekend, so everyone's just like busy doing their own thing. And also because the sun is shining, guys. The sun has reached London, finally. I actually think we forgot that it's bank holiday weekend. Well, I did get, I forget that the shops are actually closed. So I went to Red Cross hoping that I could go and get some water for like m and or something on the way here, because that's what I usually do. Closed, closed, the place is closed. So Outside the gym, there's like a little outlet area um, and they have like Costa, so I'm sat in Costa, my water and I've got coffee. So I'm just going to sit here and eat that before I head to the gym because I hate going to the gym when like on an empty stomach because I will actually end up feeling sick and end up leaving early which is not okay. So here I am, I've got myself a cookie. <laughs> Very quiet guys, I've checked the app and there's only 30 people here which is very convenient and today I just want to work on my abs, that's all what I kind of just do, I usually do like 20 minutes on the treadmill, um, walking and then running like back and forth but since I've been ill I've been doing like more walking with it, um, so I'll probably do like 10 minutes on the treadmill and then come upstairs and do like some ab workout and like work out my legs. <laughs> Good morning guys, so it's the next day, it's pretty late in the day. I want to say it's like 4.30. I'm going to take you guys with me to go and get my newest food obsession. Oh my god, but a couple of days ago I went to Canary Wharf and went to a food market there. And I went to this place called, I can't pronounce it for the life of me, it's called like Baos, Baoslin or something like that. I'll like add it just here. I literally had their noodles guys and I was in heaven. I basically had a portion there at the food market the other day a few days ago and I went back to the stall and I got a, another portion to bring home so I could have the next day and now I'm going back there like that's how good this place is guys like honestly. So basically I'm gonna head to London Bridge because they've got one in London Bridge and they've got a few dotted around London but I just thought the London Bridge one would be quieter so we're gonna go to London Bridge, me and you, we're gonna go and get the noodles that I've been craving like the last three to four days so I'm gonna go get them and you guys are gonna come with me. Right, I've actually just got to London Bridge but I don't actually know where I'm going, like at all. I wish I could call you up, 
this menu was so overwhelming for her to the one that I went to. I can't even find what I had that. Basically, you had to fill in a form and it says order sheet and you just tick off whatever it says in here. Just left i'm so full and i'm really cold because that water was so cold now it's just made my whole body like so cold oh my god look at this view look at that the shard is just wow streets of london hey eh? the food was completely different to canary wharf there was something about it that just made it a little bit more bitter and i don't know i couldn't put my finger on what it was but it was just like really bitter the noodles were like they were good but they weren't as good as canary wharf and i fancy some ice cream i love that it is 7 p.m and your girl is still out and the sun is still out i'm just gonna walk off those all those carbs that i just put on my ice cream guys look at it it's like a little flower i got mint chocolate and mango i usually have like coconut but they didn't have coconut good afternoon guys so i'm basically heading to the gym again as you can tell i've literally been banging out the gym so much recently like i've probably been five times in the last six days i basically just wanted to touch base on the puppy yoga session that i did for those who are interested in going so basically you obviously book online they have like different puppies each week or like every fortnight so you just have to be aware of that before you book like i've been keeping an eye on it for like the longest time and i knew that i wanted like fluffy puppies i didn't want like the short head type puppies which obviously all puppies are cute but i just wanted the cozy ones um and golden retrievers popped up now i booked like three days before the actual session you'll get an email confirmation and then you won't get the exact address until like two days before something like that i think it's supposed to be four days but because i booked mine quite last minute it was just like it was like the day before i think you don't know the exact address until like a couple days before so they keep that really low key so anyway the day comes you go there head to the address um and they have like a sign in system um and a sign out system so when you go there also they won't let you in to the venue until your exact time like my time was three to four and they won't let you in until like it's three o'clock our session didn't start until about I'd say about quarter past three, 20 past three. Um, you go in, take your shoes off in one room and you head into the yoga room. One thing I would suggest is um, bringing your own yoga mat. That's one thing that I was just like, oh, <laughs> you should have thought about that, Janessa, because you know, like hygiene wise, everyone's just been laying on those same mat day in and day out. Um, but other than that, they were like pretty clean, but I think for myself, I would have just wanted to bring my own yoga mat, which I don't own, but I actually would have gone out and got one. The session is one hour long, yeah? It's £35 for one hour. And you do 30 minutes yoga time, and then you do 30 minutes puppy cuddles. The mad thing about this is, there's puppies right there. Obviously, for people that are going, it's like, that's like the torture to us. And I think that's the only thing that was just like, oh guys, like you could have just kept them out of the room if you wanted us to focus. The yoga was actually really good and it was actually really like calming and relaxing. So that might be something that I need to look into. And then the 30 minutes, you just get cuddling puppies. It is definitely a very therapeutic session. They say that about like puppy sessions or like kitten sessions, don't they? You know, there's like actual companies that bring puppies into schools and like workplace and all of that just for like calming sessions and like therapeutic sessions so highly recommend if you do rabbits and they also do like kitten sessions it's definitely a good experience would i do it again i would like to i wish it was like an hour and a half so you get like 
at least 45 minutes with the puppy because that 30 minutes went like that but that's just me being greedy saying 45 minutes to an hour but yeah um i'm gonna head to the gym today guys i'm gonna go now and then i'm gonna go see my friend who's just had a baby today i didn't actually plan on vlogging i hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life it literally has been over the course of like five to six days make sure you like comment and subscribe let me know what you guys think about the puppy yoga would you try it like would you genuinely try it or is it not for you or would you rather do like the kittens or the rabbit session i really am intrigued to know thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in my next video bye